Hi everyone, it's Becky with A Better Way to Homeschool. Don't panic. Don't push the stop play. That is a math question. But I'm excited because I bumped into somebody that taught me how to solve percentages today. And she was able to teach me in five minutes how to solve a percent question regardless of how it is worded. And I'm currently trying to teach um, a couple of my kids percentages and this helped me so much that I decided to make a video for two reasons. One, uh, because I still have a third grader and I have short-term memory issues and I want to be able to find this again when he's ready for percentages. And two, I'm confident that I'm not the only mom out there that um, just almost panics when she sees percentages. This right here is the standard way that we adults, especially if we are shoppers, deal with percentages. What is 10% of 20? And we all know how to do that, um, and I'm not going to explain that, but how do you explain that to your kids? And how do you explain it in this form so that it doesn't change if you ask it in another form? Well, my friend taught me this neat little trick, and this is the first time I've made a video like this, so bear with me. Every time you have a percentage problem, you're going to draw a line, an equal sign, another line, then you're going to write the words is over of. And this is going to be your secret formula to solving a percent regardless of the way that the question is written. And you're going to have your student do exactly what I do here. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to look at your percentage and you're going to touch the little circles right here and you're going to say remember a percent is always a number out of a hundred. So we are asking 10 percent which is 10 out of a hundred and so we're going to put the 10 out of a hundred always on this side. What that means is that regardless of what the problem is, we're always going to write 100 on the bottom here, and we're always going to write the percent number here if there's a percent written in the problem. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So have them circle the percent, which I forgot to do. So you circle the percent, and then you add that number right here, 10% out of 100. Now you're looking for what else you see in this problem. In this problem, I see this of 20. Have your student underline that of 20, because you always want them to show your work, their work. Where can you guess that this 20 is going to go? That's right, it's going to go underneath this line right here, because that's where the of is. Then, what is left? You have what is. Well, we don't know what is. So because we don't know what is, we're going to give that a letter so that we can solve it like in algebra. And for, from here, you're going to solve this problem like a proportion. So you'd have your student circle this way and this way. And this is telling them that they are going to do what's called cross multiply. So they are going to do 100 times x is 100. x equals, and what's 10 times 20? That's right, it's 200. And from here, you're going to solve the equation for x. So we do this little line right here so that we can show on this side we're going to divide by 100 to get that x by itself. We're going to divide by 100 on this side. And we're, the 100's cancel out. And we're left with x equals 2. So what is the answer to what is 10% of 20? 2 is 10% of 20. Let's try another one. What if it's worded like this? Six is what percent of 30? Well, don't panic. First, we're going to write our line, our equal sign, another line. Then we're going to write the words is over of. I'm writing funky right now because of the way I'm sitting. You always start here. You always write this first. Line equals line is over of. Well, look at this one. We always look for the percent first. Well, we don't know what the percent is, so that's going to be our x, but we always know that our percent is going to be a number over 100, don't we? And if you don't, then now you do. A percent is always a number over 100. Now, what else do we see? Ooh, I see of 30. Have your student underline or squiggle of 30. That number's going to go right here on the bottom. 
And now what's left? We have six is. Have them underline that. And that six is goes right here. And now they circle this way lightly so that they can still see the numbers. And now we solve it. 30 times x is going to be 30x equals 6 times 100 is 600. Now we're going to solve for x divided by 30 divided by 30. And of course I ran out of room. We're going to have x equals 60 divided by 3 is 20. So what is the answer to 6 is what percent of 30? 6 is 20 percent of 30. Isn't this, form, isn't this secret thing cool? Look at this way. 15 is 20 percent of what number? Please bear with my video here. Okay, we, we're working with percents. So we get out our magic little formula thingy. Yes, that's a technical term. Magical little formula thingy. Line equals line is over of. Let's see if I can get this at a better angle so I can write this way. Okay, so now we hunt and we fill in the blanks. What do you see? Always hunt for the percent first. 20%. Where does that go? That 20 goes here. And the percent is always over what number? That's right, 100. So 20% is, okay, what do, we, what do we see? 15 is, have them underline it. Where does the 15 go? It goes on the is line. And then squiggly, what number? That what number, we don't know what number. So we're going to assign it a letter. Isn't this cool? Circle, like, a, like your crisscross, crisscross applesauce. 20 times x is 20x. Yes, I can write sideways. And 100 times 15 is 15. Slap on those two zeros, because anything times 100, you just slap two zeros on. Now we're going to solve for x. Divide by 20. Divide by 20. The 20s cancel out, so we're left with x equals... 150 divided by 2 is 75. So back to our original question, 15 is 20 percent of what number? Well, 15 is 20 percent of 75. Isn't this awesome? I love this formula. So again, this is Becky with A Better Way to Homeschool. If you ever get to a percentage problem and you're trying to keep, teach your kids, you do a line an equal sign, another line, then you write the words, they write the words, is over of. You fill in the percent, which is always over what number? That's right, 100, so whatever that percent number was. And then you fill in what the is is, and you fill in what the of is, and then you cross, multiply, and solve, and you will find percents. Again, this is Becky with A Better Way to Homeschool. I made this video for myself and for moms out there that are struggling teaching percentages. I hope I didn't just make you seasick. Have a wonderful day, and go ahead and comment below if this is help for you. And if you're looking for any other um, homeschooling tips, advice, resources, please visit me at abetterwaytohomeschool.com. And go ahead and... Uh, Fill in your email address over there on the right so that you don't miss any of the new exciting things that we have out there. Have a wonderful day.